walk around video on my new 2023 Ram TRX. Now this thing is powered by a 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat, pushing up 702 ponies. We got the off-road running board. I like it how it looks with the black. And then as you can tell, we did upgrade it with the rain bar. I know you, it probably saves weight and you probably get some more speed without it, but I think it looks cooler. We took out the nice hood. We got re we start walking in. So we also got the nice hood graphics on it. The TRX logo right there. And then also on the side of the car. Now if we work our way onto the back. The dealership actually, so we ordered the car with Bedliner, and then the dealership, when it showed up, six months to seven months later, it came with no Bedliner. And the dealership claims that we didn't order it, but we totally did. So they're actually gonna give it to us, but we still gotta call on that. The back end look is my favorite part of the car. I just think it looks so wide. I love how it says Ram right there. Now the most important part about this car is it comes with the Blackhawk Bill Steam suspension setup as you can tell right there. So when we do break in the engine enough after we get to that point, we're definitely gonna do some off-road stuff with the car and see how that suspension puts up with it. Cause we knew the Jeep had the Fox suspension system, which I thought worked great, but this thing definitely powers it. The Bilstein Blackhawk suspension setup is no joke guys. This thing can handle any potholes speed bumps, anything you name it. Now forgive me for how dirty it is. It's been raining and stuff in Arizona, so I gotta clean that, but we'll get a chance to do that. Grid it with the tow mirror, just because I thought it would be too wide. So guys, as far as interior goes on the car, we got the level two package, which includes all the safety features you want, like the lane assist, so blind spot monitoring, and also it comes with the upgraded Harman Kardon uh, speakers, which sound amazing when you bump them. It's probably one of the loudest sound speakers I had. And the Jeep 392 had an amazing subwoofer in the car. I think that was a 19 inch subwoofer. And that thing was pretty loud, but this thing is on a whole new level of loud. Now, as far as interior color and everything, I didn't want to do any red. So the last TRX I had ordered actually came with the red interior stitching which personally, I didn't like it. I just thought it fit better with the black look and the white without the red. Like it's out of this world. And I know there's some tasers you can get to actually play videos from your phone onto this, which I don't know if I'm gonna do just because that'd be a little dangerous, but I love seeing all these pages and stuff. So if we go to the performance pages, you can check your timers, your zero to 60 all the ones you want, acceleration, braking, gauges, so you're gonna be able to see your coolant temp, your oil temp, I'm gonna turn the air down real quick. You're gonna see your oil pressure, trans temp, battery, intake air temp, so actually what temperature the air is coming into the car. So if it's a hot day outside in your state, and let's just say, so you're gonna be able to see the difference between boost wise, you're gonna see boost pressure, air fuel ratio, and then I see coolant temp. And then when you go down to here, you actually get to see the dyno of the car. So how much horsepower is actually going to the engine at that time when you stepped on it, per se, or you want to see your torque. So it's going to tell you in red for power and then yellow for torque, which is pretty cool to me. And it also shows you what RPM you're at and what gear, which I think is just insane to see that a car can actually show you all this stuff. And then right here, it's going to show you your boost pressure again, your power and your torque. And this is going to show you your G-Force too, which is just insane to think that a truck of this size and weight can even have a, be doing this stuff and vehicle dynamics, what you're in, if you want your rear axle or back axle. Uh, I don't think that, yeah, you only can unlock your rear axle in this car, but still pretty cool. And then, because think about it, this is still a Baja truck. We're going to go over to this one the drive modes. So right now, we're sitting at 799 miles on the car, and I have yet to take it out of anything besides what it's in right now. I haven't put it in sport mode, 
I haven't put it in anything besides that Baja mud or anything. I just want to wait till I get past the breaking period because I know there's been some troubles. As you can tell right now, we're in the race options. So it's the next page down from the other one. This shows you what RPM you want to hold for your launch control. So let's just say you want to have a very tough launch. You can go all the way up to 3,500 RPMs. And then when you brake boost it, your engine's actually gonna be holding at that RPM you set. And then if you wanna turn it down, you can go all the way to 1500. And then your shift lights, no clue what this is. So if you guys wanna go in the comment section and let me know what this does, if I changed it around, that'd be awesome. But then the next feature I think is super cool. So let's just say you got done after a zero to 60 or you're on the street racing a different car or whatever, a Ford Raptor and you pull up home, engine tot, long race, you set this button up and you enable the race cooldown and it specifically sets the coolant temp and the engine to um, the right temperature it should be at and it cools it down, which is very cool. And then it shuts off afterwards and all you have to do is enable it, but it's super loud. And I'll show a video of how it actually works right after this, so check that out. Just showing you guys what that engine cooldown feature does for the TRX. So when you shut it off, it does that. Go. As far as everything else goes, it's kind of going to be simple. You're going to see your controls. So it comes like this, and then you have a camera right there. So I personally like this one better. But we also have the cameras right here. Here are vehicle cameras. There's a round camera, which is cool. You can see everything front, back, left, right. And then you can also take photos, which I don't really know how to do. So if you guys want to teach me how to do that too. Your aux, and then your car play. This is gonna be everything. So on top of that, you get your buttons right here if you want to press. This is for your towing. You're gonna to have six auxiliary switches if you want to put some cameras on. You're gonna get traction control. And then this is gonna be your TRX to switch from sport to everything. And then you get axle lock, your four low, four high, and then your launch button right here, whenever you feel ready to use it. And we're gonna start up right now for you. So guys, this is under the hood of this thing, the 702 horsepower Hellcat TRX. This is where the air goes from the hood. It goes down into here, back into the engine to cool off the components. But if you get a close up, if you get a close-up right here, you're going to be able to see the TRX in action. And we're going to get some rest for you right now. We're gonna see how it sounds, how it maneuvers. We're gonna get some outside footage of it. We're gonna close the hood right now. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you do wanna support the channel even further, comment, like, subscribe, and we're doing a giveaway. So the first thousand subscribers have a chance to win a free $300 cop radar. All you gotta do is be subscribed. First thousand subscribers have a chance. So, and we might do it like, we're gonna go for a drive right now. Sorry for my sunburn, guys. The 
the temperature's staying 105 out right now, and that's just in the shade. to maneuver around either but you definitely get used to it I'm coming from the Jeep so uh, it's different I'm still trying to get used to like the Pulling out right now. We're gonna let this lady go. And we're probably just gonna hit it. Casual. 
as you guys can tell, it also does have some pretty good bikes. video of working with the cameraman we're gonna show you guys what we do on a daily basis at 5 a.m getting up working you know believing in god is the most important thing you can do is starting with a belief starting believing in yourself too so praise the lord guys believe in something bigger than yourself you know do good things in life you know i want to see all you guys be able to do everything you want to accomplish in life if we work together maybe so Help me out, guys. Drop a like, a comment, a subscribe. It really means a lot to me. All right, so another Ford Raptor. As you guys can tell, we're barely even using our phone. get a Raptor R. Raptor R is so cool. Yeah, find a Raptor R that's not 70,000, 80,000 over sticker. I know like you can be one of the lucky people to find one somewhere from, but on a consistent basis, you cannot find one of those things for under like 50,000, which is just insane because it's a super nice car. And they should make it more available for everyone to get it, in my opinion. That's just my thoughts. Cause I would love to be able to get a Raptor. I, I've heard one and I was like, those sound amazing. I'm not discrediting the Raptor at all, but the Raptor is a cooler one. I'll let you guys know to stay tuned for more videos gonna be coming out on the AZ392. So just put notifications on, keep helping me subscribe, or subscribe so you can be entered in that giveaway. So no reason not to be, you'll get a free $300 cop radar, same exact one as this one. Maybe it'll actually be nicer than this one because this one's older. So you guys are gonna get a brand new one. All you gotta do is be subscribed. And with that, make sure to have a great day, guys. And check out some more videos.